Okay, so hopefully you know that if you apply a large enough potential difference, you're going to get a very large current and this has a heating effect. Okay, so the temperature of the wire starts to increase. Okay, so if the temperature goes up, the lattice ions start to vibrate with larger amplitude. And if the lattice ions start to vibrate with large amplitude, when the electrons flow through them, there's going to be more frequent collisions or more collisions per unit time between the electrons and the lattice ions. And this has the effect of increasing the resistance. Okay, here's a graph showing how the current changes as you increase the potential difference. So as you increase the potential difference, the current does still go up. However, it's no longer linear. And that's because of that increase in temperature at very high uh, currents. And the resistance has gone up. So here's a line showing what would have happened if the temperature had stayed constant. As you can see, in both cases, as potential difference increases, the current still does increase. However, with the uh, increase in temperature and the increase in resistance, the current doesn't increase as much. Okay. And finally, here's a graph where you can e equal, equally plot potential difference against current, and that's just as fine. And here's a graph that's worth knowing.